Hey everybody, Nostalgia Sky coming to you guys with part 9 of Sly right, Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Well, so let's go to Haiti like Bentley just said. Let's do it. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper in Vicious Voodoo. Oh, snap. The final boss fight here is weird, but let's, let's not get into that just yet. The Dread Swamp Patch. Bayou Lilial. That, that's, that's awesome. Get a trophy for doing nothing and 20 bottles and giant ass mosquitoes. Like, holy dickweed. Sorry, Sly. One mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Okay, that seems weird, but sure. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, yeah, don't take damage from that. I'm like, come on, man, that sucked. Woohoo! Okay. Right. Okay, there's nothing else there. Come on, stop overextending your jumps, Sly. Oh, apparently I wasn't even in the water. Huh, weird. Woohoo! I don't know, the music here is kind of mellow compared to, you know, other levels. And is that a freaking giant spider? That's lovely. Everyone's worst nightmare. Arachnophobia. Beware. Well, it's arachnophobics, but... Wow, nothing here gives you very much money either. If you guys notice. So many mosquitoes. You didn't even warn us about the giant mosquitoes. You just warned us about bacteria. Because, you know, that makes sense. And look like we need to go up and around to get that. So that should be easy. Woo! It's probably easier said than done, right? Woohoo! Ah, oh, this level's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. It's your typical swamp level. A lot of old games had swamps, you know? Ah, here we go. What the fuck is that giant insect? I'm assuming it's one of those, um... Uh, whatchamacallums? Stick insects? Just extremely big? Oh my god, there's two of them at the same time. Except they didn't attack us at the exact same time, so that's kind of lame. Wait, what the hell? How did he hit me? I guess his head popped off. Yeah, at least I get my extra health back here. Times two. Wow, talk about lucky. Oh wait, there's a bottle up there. Any other bottles just randomly hanging around? Now where do I go? Oh, down there. All right. I think you don't take random fall damage. And what is that? Swamp rat or a beaver? Can't really tell if that's a beaver or a swamp rat. Yeah, it could be both. Could be a swamp rat beaver dude. I don't know. He's got magic. 
That's interesting. We only need four more. Well, there's the key. That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a dinky pedestal in the guard compound. Well, there's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. Yeah, true that, man. I thought you said they work like a team. How come they're so easy to avoid? Those dogs were a lot harder to deal with. You remember those dogs, right? Hey, there's the last two. Aha! Ha, ha. Yeah, I knew that was coming. See, now they'll be working as a team, you know? I need to get to that uh, vault. Thank you. Press the circle to enter Dude, the you don't need to code. tell me every time. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Okay, 588. Sounds good to me, Bentley, sir. There we go, let's see what we get in here. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. So, we don't get anything spe- like, any trophy or anything for that, just- just- that's it? Wow. Okay, talk about... simplisticness, you know? Can I- can I has? No? Damn it. I wanted to be cool and roll into him, but that didn't work out. Oh wait a minute, I know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to knock out these candles, doy. Also, I should start collecting money again. <laughs> Cause that one boss fight did a doozy, you know. You've done it. The Mojo Force. Oh, that's my key now, bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what I was doing. I was just standing there for a second. And let's go into the store. Kerchink. Hopefully there's no races or anything here. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Let's go in. The Swamp's Dark Center. Sounds like someone has a black soul. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that Skull Temple. Sounds easy enough. Let's go do some levels. Now the music is good. I like this music. Let's get... Okay, that was getting annoying. I wanted to talk, but it's like... Voodoo children. Like, oh my lord. Now, believe... No, this doesn't do anything. God damn it. I was just trying to get to a level. Woohoo! I like how they are rats. Finally got a good look at their butt. Once again, we have to figure out a way up there. Oh, well, doy. Slide wrong way, what are you doing? 
Now let's go check out this level, which is the Lair of the Beast. Well, that sounds like it'd be like the boss level, but clearly it's not. Because we have to find a way in, but... The music didn't change once we got here, and what are we at? That didn't help me. Ah, uh, 30. Not bad. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. That could be it too. It's either something in or something out, you know? Oh, okay, you don't have to keep holding down circle. That's nice to know. Woo! So I wish the candles would give you money, but apparently this world does not like to give you money. Lots of stuff over here. Thank you. Wow, those voodoo masks only give me one buck a piece. Wait, what, what move am I on? Oh, I guess I had slow on for some reason. Good thing is, I don't have to worry about falling in the water anymore, you know? Just by Sly. Sly pooper and the... There we go. I think you can, like, backtrack, you know? This ability is kind of nice. That is a lot of spiders. Like, crazy amounts of spiders. Copious amounts of spiders. Hey, look at this. Secret. Hey, look. Bottle. Dude, you're supposed to... Okay, so, did we miss anything? Well, there's the key. This doesn't really seem like uh, a long level. Then again, could just be very difficult or something like that. There we go. Mosquito is dead. You know, actually, before I do that... See, there's like nothing here. No bottles, no any collectibles of any kind. That spider didn't even drop me money, that's how cheap he is. Oh, I'm sorry, man. These walls are making me claustrophobic. Whoa! Did you see those reeds move? There's something huge under there. You better get going. Man, get up. Ugh. I wonder what that giant thing is. Do you think it's like a snake or a gator, maybe? Oh, yay. Finally, some extra health. And we're all, we're actually more than halfway done collecting the bottles, at least. Oh, wait. Hang on. How did I not pay attention to that? I don't know. Everything's like the same color in this world, which probably makes this one probably going to be one of the harder ones to collect everything, right? Man, these. Not bad. We haven't even seen the threat yet. Nope. You're collecting everything, Sly. You're not missing out on anything, bro. God damn it, Sly! What the hell was that, man? I don't like the look of this. Boom. Woohoo! Get out of what? Get out of it! Oh, it's a snake. Need one more. Ah! Well, that was nice to know, man. Can you stop falling in the goddamn water, Sly? Get out of there! Okay, fine. Move me way over here. Does that make sense? Woo! Run! So she has a giant pet snake. Interesting, but at least we can get this. What is it, Bentley? I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. 
Personal demons? Is this supposed to be like a joke on 666? But, you know, a little different. What is this? Ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binoculum. Sweet. I wonder why we don't have, um, like, any trophies getting lost or anything. It's kind of weird. Well, going back to the swamp's dark center. Dude, you can go faster than that, right? So now we got to figure out another area to go to. So we need three keys. Also, that look... Wait, no, that's just... That's going backwards, right? Yeah, that's going backwards. So we don't want to go that way. But everything here is behind gates. Except for this one, apparently. Let's see what this one is. A grave undertaking. Seems creepy. Alright, hey, so what do we have here to collect? 40 bottles. And also the final key. Oh, great ghosts. Ghosts and goblins and a lot of stuff up there. Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Yeah, fine by me. Now that was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe what the hell? How did I take damage from you safe? again? I seem to take random damage from those guys, like some are stronger than others. And already a checkpoint? Okay. I can't destroy those skulls? Okay, lame. At least I got my extra health back. I'm like, I better not lose it right away to a damn mosquito. See, the damn head pops off and then gets me. Alright, nothing else here. Weird. All you have to do is keep smacking, you know? It's not a very hard concept to deal with. Uh, more... Whoa! These torches are actually uh, ignited every now and then. Great. Too bad they don't give you money farm money off of these fools, but no. Only their, um, stones give you money. Just looking for bottles. I don't think there's anything in here. Boink. Ooh, what's over here? Wait, no, this way's a one-up. Which probably indicates that you actually have to go that way, apparently. Because that seems like a thing to do. I always forget for the sneaking, you actually have to hold down circle. I don't think it's going to be very hard to get all the collectibles here, though. It's not at this rate. Oh, I see what this is. There's lasers. This is a very sneaky technique game. Okay, we're going this big spot. Wait, what was the point of this? What the hell is the point of this spot? I feel like this is useless. And it was all just a trick. Wait. What the hell? What are you doing? Sly! 
Wait! He doesn't die to water. Why did he die? He died to water, guys. Bullshit. I call hacks. Hey, those make, like, uh, Ratchet and Clank sounds. I don't know what I was supposed to do there, though. Okay, I gotta do the ghost part again. Yeah, ghosts! It's to get more money again. Ooh. Thought I did that too early, but luckily I didn't. What the hell? I was smacking and the ghost randomly got me. It's gonna be one of these bullshit levels and I have zero lives. If I fail here, I'll probably have to call it an episode. What? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to call it an episode. See you guys next time.